for Saki. It's going to be quite powerful if he can get them uh, properly positioned. These mutilists tend to come in in quite the clump, as any time they're, uh, they're moved, they do clump up a little bit. So those storms could be effective as long as you position them. You have to position them down a little bit below the picture of the mutilisk here. As you see that the uh, on the map where those little yellow circles, that's where the mutilisk is actually over top. So you have to hit the storm right there. We'll see how good uh, Saki is at positioning those storms. Now coming in with a number of zealots, going to at least get view of this hatchery. And he's going to know that he is now one base behind. He's going to have to try to take this gold, perhaps, as he does have the destructible rocks about halfway done right now. Going to continue working on those with these stalkers. If you look at the stalker number, now have 24 mutilists and 22 stalkers, along with four high templar. They are scattered a little bit. We see one in the mineral line. So he's just waiting there, uh, waiting for his chance to storm against these mutilists. As you see, they're clumped up quite a bit. A great storm going off there, so a lot of damage being done to these mutilists. Quite low. If the stalkers were able to come in here, they could blink up and take them down. Do see another cannon coming in, and just not enough energy on this uh, High Templar yet. Only 65, requires 75 for that storm. But now a number of High Templar moving across the field with these Stalkers, trying to take down the, uh, the Zerglings. Zerglings very good against the Stalkers here, so they attack quite quickly. We see Storms trying to go off against those Mutilists. All the Mutilists are so very low there, most of them in the red and yellow. So most of them are very low, down to 5 life, and they are going to move through that Storm and be taken down. If we look at the Mutil numbers, are dwindling quite rapidly, now down to 21 Mutilists. Uh, but he must have them separated into two packs here, as I do not believe that this is 21 Mutas. Looks like we had an expand being thrown down, a double expand in fact, by Protoss, but this one may be going down to the Zerg pressure. No, it looks like he is going to be able to pull back those Mutas, uh, and just needs to step back, reinforce those Muta numbers, as he does have more forces coming to the center here. So he does have 25 Mutas again, compared to the 8 Stalkers and the 5 Templars, so not much of an army for Saki right now. Just 1650 compared to the 3550 of Sen. So if Sen's able to move in here, we see some good storms, but quickly moving out of the storms, the Mutilists are, and now going to try to focus down these Stalkers. We need more storms coming in. A great storm there, doing a ton of damage to those uh, Mutilists. Look at the Mutilist numbers down, down, down to 15. Stalker's going to try to pick off those low Mutilists, trying to pick off the uh, the High Templar before it can do a storm there. Sen doing a good job bouncing around, really uh, terrorizing the Protoss player right now. This Nexus did finish. Perhaps Sen was waiting for it to finish and then going to take it out. That way he loses 400 minerals instead of canceling and just losing the 100. It looks like Sen has not yet taken down his Destructible Rock, so he won't be on the gold anytime soon. Saki's gotten this up and running. He does not have good saturation quite yet. Looks like he is not yet mined out at his uh, main here, but he has really cut the number of probes. He has most of his probes in his natural. If we look at the income tab, 61 probes, 4 Sen right now, and 58 for Saki. So both players on very good numbers for three bases uh, right now. Perhaps a little bit more you'd want, but at this late into the game with all the harassment we've had, pretty good for both players. See, a proxy pylon was thrown up by Saki there and quickly taken down by Sen. If anything, that uh, the killing of the proxy pylon should signify that we may see this gold expansion soon. Saki has not moved out of his base very much. Sen just has uh, vision all over the place, throwing down all sorts of chainlings. Changelings, a number of them have not been spotted by Saki, finally doing a good job taking those down and moving out with these High Templar. They're very low on energy right now. He needs to warp in a few of these and let these guys get high on energy so he can throw down multiple storms. Those Mutilists are just being torn apart by the storms right now. We do see Zealots do not have leg speed yet. Throwing up the production tab, it looks like we have four Ultralists on the way. Four Sent, also moving these uh, spine crawlers out to be offensively here. Going to be able to guard a number of bases with those. Now, tons of storms taking care of those Zerglings, but the storms did not take down the uh, Mutilists all the way, all of them very low life. These Zealots are going to be picked off by these Mutilists. Now turning around does not have enough energy with this High Templar to take on another Storm. The Stalkers reinforcing, going to try to pick off these uh, these Mutilists. Storms are not going to be the answer for these Ultralists though, as they do have 500 life. See, 2-2 two, two upgrades for Sen right now, not even been able to keep up with the upgrades of both players. 
Looks like these mules coming in, taking more and uh, more pylons down for Saki. If we look at the units loss tab, 17,000 so far compared to the 13,000 of Sen. Again, all these mules very low. One storm could eradicate them all. See the Nexus getting very high on energy right now. Uh, he's very low on resources though, so he cannot do any sort of warp gate chrono to pump out more stalkers or high templar right now. He does need to establish another base, whether it's down here, perhaps getting up a base over here. He does have a warp prism up, so he could get a uh, a probe over here. It looks like he did drop that probe, so we will have a pylon warped over here. Going to be able to warp in a, a little bit of defense against mutalisks, or perhaps a few cannons, and then investing in a nexus here eventually. We see these ultralisks moving forward again. A great storm, able to take down a number of those mutalisks, but just so many ultralisks right now. The immortal is the good response to the uh, ultralisks, doing bonus damage with these two upgrades, 60 damage against those ultralisks. Not really sure why I didn't move in with those ultralisks. I don't think there's much of a uh, army for Saki right now. Just 2200 compared to the 4000 of Sen. I would move for it if I was him. These ultralisks are not going to be uh, not going to be able to uh, be taken down by these few immortals. Just two immortals right now for Saki. If you look at the income tab, uh, Protoss down to 900 minerals per minute compared to the about 900 of Sen. So it looks like we just had a, uh, a Warp Prism drop. He uh, did warp in a number of Templar here, and my guess is he did some storms. As we see, a few of these drones have a lot of damage, but with the high drones uh, still here, I imagine he didn't take too many kills there. So it looks like he is doing some Warp Prism harass at these bases, not yet saturated here at the gold, so it is going to take his Warp Prism a different way. We see Saki moving ac across the map now. He did morph in some Archons here. Archons very good against Biological, with the plus two upgrade doing 43 damage. So they are going to be good against those Ultralisks, and they are going to be able to tank a little bit for these Immortals and for the uh, the Templar in the back. So if we look, a ton of Ultralisks out now. Looks 16 Ultralisks on the field. He's gotten away from the Mutalisks a little bit, just three Mutalisks, but just 16 Ultralisks are going to be able to plow through anything on the ground that Saki has. These Templar, no answer for the Ultras. Again, 500 life, these 2-2 two, two upgrades. So we're going to see an encounter here. No, it looks like we're going to have more Zealots and High Templar warped in here. Great Storms taking down all sorts of drones this time. So taking down basically half, more than half of the drones that were on this uh, this expansion here. And he did have to pull back with his Ultralisks. So Sen, not really sure about his uh, passivity here or passive nature, not even sure if that's a word at this point. Uh, he should be pushing out as he does have the superior army. 5,700 compared to the 3,600 of Saki. Plus he's tier three at this point, so so much more powerful. We have a number of storms going off. Again, not making much of a dent. These front uh, ultralisks, Saki doing a very good job fighting in this position and positioning those immortals in the front. All this uh, ultralis cannot get in here. Finally, we see a better concave being positioned by Sen here, but again, still tons of ultralis in the back which are not able to attack. And he's losing all of those ultralis being focused down quickly by those immortals, doing 60 damage uh, apiece, so fewer than 10 shots able to take down those ultralisks. See another changeling coming out for Sen, in fact, three. Gonna try to keep uh, eyes on this Protoss army. I cannot believe that Sen uh, was rebuked there by Saki. He did have a number of cannons and he does have these four immortals, but uh, great job fighting at this choke point. The Ultralisks really got bottled up. One of the downsides to the Ultralisks is they're just so massive. Uh, they cannot get a good surround on these units. He also did not attack with any Zerglings. The Zerglings at this point in the game are just going to be extra DPS for those Ultralisks as the Ultralisks tank. We do see Zerglings now coming out for uh, for Sen, and he is loading up an Ultralisk as well as a bunch of Zerglings, so not really sure where he's going to go with this. Looks like we do have a Warp Prism transferring more probes down to this expansion here. Looks like uh, Sen, if we check the uh, the site, he does know about this expansion. And Zergling still doing uh, a lot of uh, a lot of scouting here. He does know that there are no expansions up here. Doing some long distance mining is uh, Saki right now. And he may be able to see these overlords moving across. Now throwing up this Nexus, going to be able to see this drop moving across. 
to this island expansion. It's going to be able to cancel this nexus or at least take down the zergling. Might actually leave that nexus now that the force is there to protect. And now warping in a few dark templar. So uh, dark templar and high templar are going to be able to do a lot of damage to these uh, ultralis. One ultralis being dropped and doing AOE damage, but no damage being done to this Dark Templar. Even though the uh, Ultralis is doing cleaves, it's not doing damage to those cloaked units, and the Templar are doing 60 damage per attack. So those Templar, just no sight for uh, Sen. He did not bring an Overseer, so Zerg a little bit uh, limited in their, their stealth detection, and hard to imagine that your player would have uh, Dark Templar there defending. But brilliant uh, build there and brilliant play from Saki, defending that pretty easily, and Sen lost a ton of units as we see the armies are a little bit more even now, 4,800 to 4,000. Sen does have these uh, this creep here and the spine crawlers, five offensive uh, spine crawlers here, not quite offensive, but defensive in the fact that they're guarding all five of the Zerg bases right now. Looks like the ultra Ultralists are moving to the side, perhaps to get a flank with these, uh, these spine crawlers if the Protoss player moves up through here. Looks like we ha now have six Immortals, great counter to those Ultralists, as well as an Archon and a number of High Templar, all with very high energy, able to throw down multiple Storms. Looks like at least ten Storms could be thrown down. So he's going to be able to take care of any sort of Mutalisks, any sort of Zerglings, as Storms do very well against those. Now we see uh, Softball Sen going towards a little bit more Roach play, as well as Infestors. So anytime you uh, introduce new units late in the game here, it can really do some damage to the opposing player if he's not uh, gotten out the counter units. So we see these Dark Templar are going to be able to do a lot of damage until Sen moves this Overseer in. So he may start spawning a few more Overseers. He's working on a Greater Spire right now as well. It's about complete as more High Templar are being warped in. We do see another drop of Zerglings coming down here. The Storm should be able to take down and clean up these Zerglings. Again, Zergling drops late in the game very good as they just do so much DPS against these buildings. I feel like both players uh, getting into the 150, 180 range food-wise. Sen is at 187. Have to imagine he was capped there before that drop, and now just needs to macro up. He is at 1,800 minerals. He is a little bit gas-starved right now, but could be pushing out more and more Zerglings. Looks like he's getting out a few Corruptors. So uh, looks like he is preparing to get Broodlords. Broodlords plus Ultralis could be more 